For some, this weekend's meeting at the African Union could be a real test of solidarity. Some, such as Uganda and Rwanda, have repeatedly criticized the International Criminal Court. Signatories such as South Africa agree it's time to review Africa's position on the ICC. Whether there will be a general withdrawal, though, is not clear. Some analysts suspect the AU members will take the first step towards that. Possibilities are that today they might be vague about how they will do it, but only issue a statement of intent. By way of saying that we will withdraw and we have instructed our parliament to draft whatever instruments that are necessary to cause a withdrawal to happen. But Kenya's government is not convinced. I think it's actually quite naive to think that 34 countries can come together with the sole aim of moving out of the Rome Statute. They did not join the statute together. I don't see that they would come together uh, to discuss that. A withdrawal would not affect cases currently underway, so Kenya's deputy president and the president would still have to stand trial. But analysts say it will raise more questions about whether the continent is more interested in protecting its leaders than providing justice for its people. Jinkeo, CCTV, Nairobi, Kenya.